Should the Buffalo Bills be shitting their pants that Star Lutalele did not show up to OTAs? And what does that mean for the 2021 season if he decides to retire? All coming up on today's edition of the Dom Mafia Report. Yo, ho, ho, Da Mafia. Welcome to yet another edition of the Da Mafia Report. And that is correct. You did read the title correctly. We have to start asking questions about Star Lutalele. Now, we're going to dive deep into this topic, but at the end of the day, I personally believe that we should at least be displaying some type of level of concern here especially since the Buffalo Bills did not address a potential replacement for Star Lutalele this past offseason, or at least one that would really be able to be a true one-tech defensive lineman, defensive tackle. Before we get into any of that, I do want to give just a couple of announcements. Number one, I am giving away either a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, announcing the winner on my birthday. The way to enter, it's super easy. You need to be a subscriber to this YouTube channel, screenshot proof of that, and send that screenshot to my Instagram DMs at RealDanMitchell, and voila, you are now in the running of potentially bringing home a next-gen console. So whatever you do, pause this video and do that right now. Second announcement is Discord, baby. I just ended up starting a Discord server. It's a super cool NFL community, mostly Buffalo Bills fans as of now, but you don't need to be a Bills fan to be a part of it. So many cool little different talking channels, whether or not that it's memes, trash talk, it's the place you want to be. And plus, it gives you the opportunity to call in to my live shows. When I'm offering call-ins, be a member of that Discord server because they are the only people that have the ability to do so. Mafia. So last week when OTAs ended up starting for the Buffalo Bills, there was obviously a couple of names that were out there that really weren't participating in these off-season workouts. Now, granted, I do want to say that this is completely voluntary. Not every single player needs to show up at the end of the day. But once you set aside the fact that Stephon Diggs did not show up, which I wouldn't worry about it whatsoever, the man is still clearly working his ass off during the offseason according to his social media. The one name, the one name that kind of got to me was Star Lutalele. Now, it was funny because looking back in 2019, I swear to God, everybody in Bill's Mafia for the most part that really didn't dissect the way that he was playing were the biggest Star Lutalele haters in the face of the planet. People would be like, yo, Dan, what the f does this guy do? What the hell does he bring to the table? Let's just say that we ended up figuring out the hard way exactly what Star Lutalele ended up bringing to the table in 2020 when he opted out. It's true, we were in desperate need of a true one tech defensive tackle. And we finally ended up realizing that once Every single team and their mother was able to run the ball down our f***ing throats, practically on demand. Defensively, that was hands down our biggest weakness. And as soon as when Star opted out, that's pretty much when it started happening. So now that Star doesn't show up to practice, there's a lot of questions that people need to start asking. Does this mean that he is contemplating retirement? Is this going to be an issue. The second biggest issue is hands down, the man just ended up taking off an entire year of football. Is he going to be conditioned? Is he going to be in shape? And unlike the majority of NFL players out there, Star doesn't have a social media presence for the most part. In fact, the last time he tweeted was in 2015. It's not like that we can go back and check on players such as Stephon Diggs or even Josh Allen for the most part, who still goes on ahead and posts at least a little bit to let you know that he's working. Star has been a complete ghost. We have not heard from this man um, since he ended up calling out for his opted out season. So this is something that concerns me and I'm really not sure how you guys feel about this, but my biggest concern is this. We didn't really this off season for the most part go out and attempt to find a decent replacement as a true one tech defensive tackle because there was no indication that Star Lutalele would potentially retire or he wouldn't be showing up to OTAs at the end of the day. Now, 
that's where I'm sitting at from this most part is the fact that if Star were to retire, then what are we going to do? And are we going to see the exact same story where the Buffalo Bills are having a very difficult time and stopping teams that run the ball effectively, perhaps? Or maybe somebody will even be able to step up and take over his place. But frankly, I don't believe that he is retiring. I think more of my nerve wracking behavior right now is probably having to do with the fact that will he be in shape once the season ends up starting over? Now, some fans are probably gonna be like, you know what, dude, let's just cut him, let's just do this. Um, that would not help out this team financially whatsoever. In fact, if we do end up releasing him or if we do end up finding a way to get him off this team minus a trade, I really don't see many teams wanting to trade for a guy that just took an entire year off from football, but it would actually hurt the Buffalo Bills financially. It would hurt our cap space. It would hurt our cap room. So that's completely out of the question. The Buffalo Bills are going to at least have to hold on to Star Lutalele until 2021 before there's any type of financial benefit whatsoever for this man being able not to royally screw us financially. So, Dal Mafia, at the end of the day, I think we should be nervous, but I do have a feeling that he is going to come back. Like I said at the beginning of this video, OTAs are completely voluntary. If, for example, if, for example, that star starts missing out on mandatory team activities, then yeah, maybe I would start shitting my pants and I think that the front office, Sean McDermott, Brandon Bean and company really need to go on ahead and try and find a suitable, suitable replacement if he does decide to retire or if he's just not in the same playing shape that he was. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor, leave a comment. What do you think about this entire situation? Are you nervous that Star didn't show up? Do you think that he's gonna be the same player that he was in 2019? And if he does show up, will he be able to fix our uh, running game woes on the defensive side of the ball? Dal Mafia, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another edition of the Dal Mafia Report. I will see you tomorrow. And before I let you go, always remember, let's go Buffalo.